Hey everybody, in this video, we are going to talk about kidney stones and I prepared a cute little presentation for you. And we're gonna talk about the real cause of kidney stones. It is not what you've been led to believe. So the vast majority of kidney stones are in the form of calcium oxalate stones and Calcium oxalate kidney stones um, are basically made up of calcium and oxalates bound to one another. The standard of care to prevent kidney stones relies in combining calcium and oxalate containing foods. By the way, oxalates are strictly found in plants. So if you're eating a carnivore diet, you don't have any worries because you're not eating the oxalates. But the standard of care is <laughs> literally telling you to combine calcium and oxalates in your diet so that they bind to one another in the mouth as opposed to in the kidneys. Madness, I know. And they are also recommending that you decrease your sodium intake because it's been a, so a high sodium intake or a high salt intake has been associated with excess calcium in the urine. And so they're focusing on um, lowering calcium as much as possible in the urine when in fact what they should be focused on is lowering oxalates because we can lower oxalates to zero, whereas lowering calcium is not really something that I would recommend. And not only that, they also recommend prescription medications, of course. And let's move the captions. I don't know how the captions came on, but we'll keep them for now. So what are the real approaches to prevent kidney stones? The real approaches would actually be treating the root cause, which is calcium. Cut out the calcium, cut out the plant foods from your diet. Not only that, you wanna stop taking vitamin C supplements because excessive vitamin C supplements is going to convert to oxalate in the body. I've done videos on oxalates that I'll try to link in the description box below. Um, so that you can watch the tragic, tragic effects of oxalates. And also I highly encourage you to watch the interview I did with the leading world expert in oxalates, um, Sally K. Norton. Our interview got a lot of views, a lot of interest and for good reason. Um, I'll link it also below for sure and make sure you watch that just to understand the nasty effects that oxalates can lead to. So you don't wanna take vitamin C and you want to follow a carnivore diet by cutting out all plant foods or at the very least cut out anything that contains oxalates. What are foods that are rich in oxalates? Spinach, soy, almonds, potatoes, beets, navy beans, raspberries, and dates. And this is literally like a very tiny list. Kiwis, sweet potatoes, all of those things have oxalates. So this idea that you want to have this green smoothie in the morning, you know, and you'll, you're blending your spinach with the almond milk, this is like the worst thing you can ever do. That's actually what happened to Liam Hemsworth. I also did a video, like an old video, about how he had to quit a vegan diet because it gave him kidney stones because he was starting, literally starting his day with an almond milk shape with a um, bunch of spinach in it. And of course, he got a um, kidney stones and he had to have surgery. So don't do what he did. You know better, okay? And those are the references. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And stop share and end it here.